Well, welcome back to my video diary on Stone Acres. Got back on yesterday, got into a swim called the Crows, started off with a tench, then a 20 pound fish, and then a proper chunk. Absolutely buzzing with this. Don't know how we've, if we're going to get some footage, hopefully, before it swims away. Look at that. 42 pounds, six ounces, I'll try and get rid of the mat, so you can get a good look. Look at that. 42 pounds, six ounces, on the hinge rig again. This fish hasn't been out for two years. It's a proper result. Let's get him back. Just let him get his breath. Well, I had that immense moment yesterday when we had that 42 pound fish absolutely buzzing I watched a little bit of footage back I was probably too excited to do that little bit of footage uh, I, you know I'm sorry if uh, I seemed a bit keen uh, but I was absolutely made up with that fish he's a really rare visitor to the bank but got that rod back out last night on a clip uh, putting the, the the line and the lead around me two sticks so I can get that rod back out into the middle of the lake exactly on the same spot obviously got it right because this morning I've woke up to that rod going away again line going through the buzzer and it's this fish, 24 pound common. Just got all the pictures done now, so we'll slip this one back. There's fish still out there, could be on for a good session. Well, it's been a hell of a session. This is a fourth fish now. The wind got up yesterday, I didn't think I was gonna get my rod back out long where I've been having the takes from. Just before dark, a little low in the wind, got out on the clip. And this morning, this is the result. 30 pound fish, 30 pound four ounce mirror. Done the pictures now, we're just getting back. Well, come back up onto Stone Acres this week. Looks like we started off where we left off last week. Lovely fish, a little while ago. It's called the Little Pinch Belly Common. 31 pounds, one ounces, white new grange pop up, out of distance again, a uh, different rod though the last week, this one's out near the island, uh, a few fish were just showing there this morning, and then this one's gone off, had to go out and land it from the boat, but we've got him in, got some pictures done, just let him go now, just let him get his breath back, I think he's got it, <laughs> Well, since having that 30 pound common yesterday, it's just poured down with rain, poured down all last night, but it was nice to wake up this morning, early, about half past five this morning, with a right hand rod ripping off. And this was this was the result. 23 pound mirror. Got some pictures done early on, got that rod back out, so hopefully we're in chout for another one. Got a few more nights yet, so things are looking good. Just get this one back. Here we go, another one for the video diary. Been hoping to tell you a little bit more about what's been going on, but it's been absolutely pouring down with rain. Not been able to get out of the bivvy too much. Certainly not wanted to uh, set up an expensive camera out in the rain. Um, but this morning, it stopped raining, and uh, been able to show you this one. Another common from Stoneacre, lovely dark looking fish. 31 pounds, 10 ounces this one. A um, few sort of commons looking in, uh, in this lake that look like this. Uh, I'm having a job to identify a few of them to be honest. I've got this little pinch belly um, and it's trying to work out which one is which. I think I might have repeated on one of them. Um, but really pleased to get another fish, third fish for the session, 
fourth morning of the session uh, of a seven night session that I'll tell you a little bit more about in a minute but now just get this one back in the water Well, as you can see, got another fish on the bank, quite lively this one, 27 pound, 2 ounce common, but just keep getting him wet with the water from the bucket, keep him happy, fought really really well this one, so I'm not surprised he's trying to beast me now on the bank, managed to go through two of the other rods, I was out in a boat having to lift rods over my head and things like that, and there you go. Another lovely fish from Stoneacre, like I say, 27 pounds, 2 ounces, another dark common. It's a male fish, it's covered in uh, like a turquoise coloured uh, spawning molecules all down its scales, down its gill plate. So really happy with this, the session's going really well. Just want one of them big mirrors to hit the net now. Well, it's turning into a bit of an hectic day really. Started off with a tench, then a common, and then this one, all from the same spot. This one's 25 pounds, six ounces. Fifth fish of the session. So everything's going really well, apart from we really want to see one of those big ones now. But no, I can't complain, I'm catching some lovely fish and really enjoying the session. Got some pictures done of this fish now, so just getting back got the rod back out there while he was in the retainer so hopefully we could be in for another one yet well last full day of the session today and uh, things are still going well I had this one earlier on 27 pounds 14 ounces like all the fish that I've had this session uh, on the ever faithful hinge rig with a white Newgrange pop-up and I'm fishing over quite a lot of Newgrange boilies those new grange boilies just seem to get better and better and better the longer they're in the water. They react in water, everything starts working within the bait and the fish just seem to get on it and keep coming back. I've been really lucky this week to get back into the swim that I had four fish from last session, keep the spots going with bait and the fish are still coming. The trouble is, crows is a popular swim, it's a good swim. so better enjoy this while it lasts because uh, this sort of action might be short-lived and might not be able to get back in the swim but for now we'll just let this one catch his breath now that's what you call rain Well, come back onto Stone Acres this week, and as I suspected, the, the swim that uh, I've had 10 fish from in the last two sessions uh, is taken. Not surprised, can't blame anybody for getting in there. If the fish are there, everybody pays the money, you've got to fish for them. Uh, but because I had a good idea that that might happen, uh, I've sort of moved on to a little bit of a plan that I've been thinking about, um, where I've come into a swim now that uh, I think he's in a good area for a couple of the big ones going on their past captures uh, and I've decided to fish quite a long way out uh, past a lot of anglers range just so that I can keep baiting uh, two spots I'm only going to fish two rods um, and just keep the bait going in and if anybody does come in here behind me or when I'm not on the lake uh, they shouldn't really be able to reach the two spots that I'm fishing uh, and interfere with it, with what I'm trying to achieve. Um, so yeah, coming into this swim yesterday, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go. It's not really my style of angling, sitting in one swim. Uh, I usually get itchy feet after a couple of days of not much happening and I want to move around the lake. But I think the time's come where I've got to try and stick with it now. Uh, landed a good number of fish from this lake now over the last few seasons, uh, but no big one. So, 
we've got to try something else, I think. Um, so anyway, plan is, is two rods, two spots. They're going to be quite long, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm only using two rods, because I don't want to like pick up a tench or something on one and it wipe out the other one. Uh, if the wind gets up, it's going to be hard to get these rods out there. So with two rods, uh, I've got less uh, things that I need to do, less to worry about. I'm not going to make so much disturbance. I'll get the rods out quicker uh, and just keep the bait going in on those spots. That's the plan. It's hit a bit of a hitch already. Um, got the rods out yesterday uh, and the right hand rod, which is on the windward uh, side of the two, uh, has been wiped out by drifting weed three or four times now already and I'm having to put it back out on the clip. Um, I've woken up this morning, both bobbins have sort of pulled up tight through the night. I suspect they've got bits of weed on them. There's some weed beds in front of me now that weren't there last night that have drifted down the lake. So I think the swim needs a bit of work. Uh, I'm going to go out in the boat today, probably wrench all my chances of catching this session uh, by removing as much of the weed as I can um, and we'll just see if this plan sort of comes to anything. Hopefully it will, uh, but don't be surprised if I turn the camera on next time and I'm moving around the lake again. Uh, but that's the plan and we'll see how it goes. One wee bed shifted at the swim. Just a few more to go. This is all the type of thing that's drifting around the lake all the time. And at this time of year, it's an absolute nightmare. Comes through, drifts into your lines, pulls them out of position, and you're forever having to recast. But one of the things that you've got to put up with on stonies, if you want these fish, uh, you've certainly got to work for them. Right, that's that lot cleared. I'll go out now and get the rest of them. Well, all I've done today is completely wrench my swim. I knew I would, I wasn't too bothered about it. Uh, I was getting rid of all the weed uh, to try and keep my loins in the water. And really, I'm thinking further ahead. I'm trying to bait up the swim uh, and get something going. Um, so when I got my rods out, uh, I got wiped up by weed again within five minutes, put them out again, half an hour later, I've had a take, and it's this one. Fish known as the Bearded Lady, at 31 pounds, eight ounces. Really, really pleased, I've not had this fish before, and I'm just a little bit surprised. You know, it goes against the grain, I've been in the boat all day, splashing about in the water, clearing the weed and everything like that, but we've had one. So hopefully it's a sign of things to come. Well, another session comes to a close, just part way through packing away now. And as you can see, the weed that started about this high has grown and grown and grown. I've been out in a boat every day just clearing weed, but it's coming up quicker than I can bring it in. I even went out and cleared a weed bed this morning, uh, about the size of two bivvies. Uh, cleared that, thought, yes, I can get my rods all sorted again now. Uh, come in, and a weed bed had come up while I was out in the boat. So. I think I might have to still consider my options, I might have to wait until all this weed gets up and gets stabilised uh, before I start thinking about plotting up in this swim because I literally cannot keep up with taking all the weed out of the water. Um, but on a positive note, one of the two big ones, uh, Bite Mark, has been out at a very good weight. It's not been out for a little while, uh, so it's nice to know that he's fit, healthy uh, and swimming about out in the lake. Um, and like I say, you know, the challenge on Stoneacre continues. I'll get back on here next week, um, see how much of the weed has come up. It's literally, you could almost say it's coming up by the hour. Um, we'll see what it's like next week. I'll get back on. I'll catch up with you again for another episode of Knee Bones Diary.